welcome all welcome to today's online class today we discuss the last part of uv visible spectroscopy it is about calculation of lambda max of certain class of organic compounds based on some empirical rules that is called woodward fisher rules woodward and fisher they studied the electronic spectra of a large number of molecules and they formulated some empirical rules it's an additive rule we should have some basic data with us so that we can calculate lambda max of any compound let us first of all we have two classes of compounds one is calculation of lambda max of conjugated dienes and the second one is calculation of lambda max of alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds or simply we call enones with respect to enones we have to discuss what is the role of solvent in lambda max or solvent effect let us first go into the calculation of lambda max of conjugated dienes remember in both the cases we are concerned with pi to pi star transition that means lambda max of pi pi star transition because it is most noticeable peak most intense peak okay now in the calculation there are two parts first we should fix what is the base value of the given compound if it is a cyclic or conjugated diene open chain or if it is cyclic uh, if it is a cyclic value base value is 215 nanometer if it is cyclic there are two cases it can be heteroannular i will explain that heteroannular means if there are two rings okay like this okay and the conjugate double bonds are coming in two different rings like this this is conjugation correct and it is the two double bonds are in two different rings that is heteroannular double bonds in different rings in that case the base value of lambda max to be taken is 215 nanometer if it is homo annular that means both the double bonds the conjugated double bonds are in the same ring like this okay then it is called homo annular annular means ring homo annular diene then the base value is higher notice that 253 nanometer and if it is a cyclic triene suppose your compound is open chain a cyclic triene conjugated then we take 245 nanometer these are the base values to be kept in mind and then we add some increments based on various features increments one extended conjugation suppose in addition to these two double bond there is one more double bond coming here which is in conjugation right suppose it is here it is not conjugation it will not add to lambda max but if a double bond comes in conjugation extended conjugation so that resonance will be working over all these carbons right then we have to add 30 nanometer remember in the previous class for ethylene pi pi star transition lambda max was 167 nanometer also and when it is butadiene it increased to about 200 so generally it increases by 30 nanometer for every double bond exocyclic double bond if it is there we should add 5 nanometer what is exocyclic double bond suppose uh, there is a double bond coming like this here this is called exocyclic double bond a double bond come exo to the ring okay like this or it comes like this okay then lastly for alkyl substituent and ring residue we will we should add 5 nanometer for ring residue that means suppose your compound is this one 
okay homoannular dying so this is the system homoannular dying system so this is a ring residue Substi like substituents this is also ring residue this is ring residue so we have to add 5 nanometer for all these ring residues similarly if it is an alkyl substituent if it is coming like this one methyl group is coming here CH3 we should add 5 nanometer so we will go to examples to understand these rules okay we will practice examples a few of them let us take first of, first of all a very simple compound the first one look at this CH3 CH double bond CH single bond CH double bond CH CH3 what is the name of this compound it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 so hexa 2 4 diene okay it's a conjugate system it's very clear so the diene part is this this is the diene part this is the parent compound or we take the base value here so what about the computation first you should write the base value fix the base value it is an acyclic diene so acyclic diene so that it is 217 nanometer base value that is fixed now increments what are the increments to be added here it is not cyclic there is no extended conjugation only two double bonds are the diene there is no more conjugated double bond and exocyclic double bond because it is not cyclic so it doesn't come and the last one alkyl substituent or ring residue here you can see on this carbon there is a methyl group so this is one alkyl group and this is another alkyl group in the system so there are two alkyl substitution on the system so alkyl substituent we have 2 into for each one it is 5 nanometer so it is 10 so adding all these what is the value coming 227 nanometer if we compare this calculated value with the exponent value you can find close agreement the next example let us take another one for practice now we take a ring system a cyclic compound okay this is the compound calculate lambda max for this diene so first of all we take the base value fix the base value to which one it belong to it is heteroannular diene correct different rings so the base value is 2 and 5 heteroannular so it is 215 nanometer base value no increments increments is there any extended conjugation no only two double bonds only dying so that is not applicable exocyclic double bond check the double bonds whether it is exocyclic or not this double bond is not you can see this double bond is to this ring it is exocyclic if a double bond comes like this to a ring if the double bond comes like this anywhere it is called exocyclic so this double bond is exocyclic to this ring this ring so we have to add so exocyclic double bond gives 5 nanometer added and finally ring residue no alkyl substituents but ring residues are there that means how you fix it see this is your system conjugated diene and you check this is one ring residue to this side this is another ring residue and this is another ring residue so there are three so we can write ring residue ring residues there are 3 into for each one it is 5 
so 15 so what is the total it is 235 nanometer okay that is the lab products of this combo right let us discuss another example now next one is another ring system okay fused uh, rings two rings are there and these are the double bonds let us go for the calculation what about the base value base value so you may get puzzled here whether we take this as a homoannular or heteroannular both are applicable here if you consider this part is heteroannular if you consider this part it is homoannular always you take the larger value so this is to be treated as a homoannular diene okay homoannular so what is the base value homoannular it is larger 253 nanometer then there is one one more double bond which is extended extended double bond gives see one double bond is increasing the conjugation right so you know there is blue uh, red shift okay when conjugation increases there will be red shift that is the point so uh, increments now extended conjugation extended conjugation it is adding 30 nanometer then next one exocyclic double bond is there yes this you can see this is now the system okay the whole thing including this extended conjugation this double bond is exocyclic only this one not these two so there is one exocyclic double bond exocyclic double bond five finally ring residue how many ring residues are there yes let us check taking the whole system this is one ring residue like a substituent second one third one that's all so there are three again three into five equal 15 what about the total value 20 50 it is 303 3 not 3 nanometer is the lambda max for this dye okay so that's about calculation of lambda max of conjugated dyeing system i'm giving you two questions for practice you do it as a homework one is this one this is a compound okay this is a conjugated dye and the second one you have a bicyclic system and there are three double bonds so you may uh, get doubted whether this is to be treated which is a base value this is to be taken as a cyclic because the double bonds are not in the ring here also you can take this as an acyclic system because both double bonds are not inside the ring okay and this will be extended conjugation and one more example one more question for calculation of lambda max is this there are two methyl groups here CH3 and one in here also suppose it is shown one methyl here also don't worry this is not going to get added because substitution should be in this dying part or the conjugated part of the system okay now let us discuss about the next class of compound that is alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds and here we should know the base value okay i think uh, we will discuss that part in the next class so make this clear how to calculate lambda max of a conjugated ion 
Knowing the base value and increment values, we can just add and get lambda max. Alphabet unsaturated carbonyl compounds, how to calculate lambda max of uh, enones, we will discuss in the next class. Practice these questions. Okay, thank you.